Welcome to the Waypoint Path Generator demo. The Waypoint Path Generator is an application that allows you to very easily create paths programmatically that you can then upload into the Litchi app and then eventually upload to your drone to fly a mission. I'm going to start by zooming in to an area of the map and uh, where I want to uh, basically plan a flight. So I'm zooming into this uh, high school stadium and the path I want to generate is going to take off from about this little parking area here and it's basically going to circle around, spiral into the stadium and then spiral out. The first thing I'm going to do is generate a point of interest. So if I just right click in the center of the stadium, I can add a point of interest. I'll give it a name. I'll just call it high school. And uh, I'm just going to assume the elevation at this point is about 150. Uh, the POI in, uh, altitude is what the default altitude might be if I was going to fly a mission. And uh, the camera altitude is uh, when you're flying a path, if the camera is pointing uh, towards this point of interest, uh, this is the height above the ground that the camera will actually point to. So, so it generates a point of interest. I can zoom in, pick it, and kind of center it to make sure it's centered, and then zoom back out of the map. We will start by creating a uh, circular path, uh, and I'm going to take off from this area, and I want to create a path that basically circles around the stadium at a constant altitude. So to do that, I'll just right-click where I want the center of the uh, circular path to be, and I'll just say Add Circular Path. It brings up this little dialog box. I want my path to be about 60, uh, an altitude of 60 meters. And I'm going to use a start radius of about 250. Uh, I'll uh, change my start angle to close to where I'm going to take off from. Uh, but I don't want a full circle and I don't want to output uh, the start and end. I will uh, currently, the drone, if it flies this path, will be pointed towards the next waypoint. If I turn on point of interest mode, then the drone heading is going to be uh, pointing to the uh, POI. Uh, and now when I say add path, that path is now added uh, to the program. The second path I want to create is basically a uh, spiral path or a helical path that starts about where the circular path left off and it's going to spiral into the center of the stadium uh, changing the altitude as it does so. I'll uh, start by saying add a helical path. I'll, uh, the out start altitude is already 60. I'm going to leave it and end at altitude of 10. I'm going to increase the start radius close to where the um, circular radius stopped and uh, I'll just leave this at a uh, end radius of 10. I do want to change my start angle where the helix is going to start so I'll just rotate it to close to where it's going to be here uh, and I will tell it not to output a start and end but like the circular path, I want to activate POI mode so that the uh, drone will actually uh, change its heading as it flies and keep pointing towards the center of the helix. I will now uh, basically add that he helical path. At this point, I have two separate paths. If I uh, And what I can do is now join them together. So I'll just pick the two endpoints of the two paths. And if I right click here, I can say join paths. And now notice uh, this is waypoint zero, so I don't have to reverse the path, which I could if I wanted to.
The next path I'm going to generate is a circular path that uh, circles the center of the stadium uh, at a rad radius of about 10 uh, meters and an altitude of 10. So again, I'll uh, add a circular path. Um, and I'll change oh, altitude 11. That's good enough. Uh, let's change this down to about an altitude of a uh, radius of, yeah, it's a little tricky getting it exactly, but a radius of 14 will work. Uh, let's go and change the number of points that are going to be uh, generated. So maybe I'll uh, generate eight points. Uh, I'm not going to do a full circle. Let's just put a little gap in there and then change my start angle so that the uh, new path starts close to where the helical path ended. Uh, and I will turn off uh, generating a start and end point and turn on point of interest mode. So again, the uh, drawing will, drone will point to the center of the uh, circular path. I'll add the path, and now I'm just going to uh, adjust some of the uh, positions of the helical path. And now again, I'll just basically take these two and join them into a path. Okay, And let's just take this and just drag it out a little bit, say to there. At this point, I'm going to generate a second helical path. In this case, one that starts at uh, close to the end point of my last uh, waypoint and then uh, spirals out uh, to a radius of uh, 250 again. So I'll just add a path, helical. At this point, uh, I'll specify a start altitude of about uh, whatever it is, which is uh, roughly uh, 10. 11 is good enough. I want to end up at an altitude of, uh, in this case, I'm just going to go uh, to an altitude of 30 meters, maybe. 31. I'm going to do a start radius of uh, close to what the circular path was. And I'll have to get uh, totally accurate because I can change it. And now I'm going to specify a uh, endpoint radius of uh, close to 250, which was the other one. What the other one was at. I will rotate this around and tell it to uh, start the helix about here. And um, it looks like it's going to end the way I want it. I will turn off the generation of the start and end point and turn on POI mode. So again, the drone will be pointing towards the uh, center of the helix. At this point, I will add the path. I'll zoom up a little closer so I can have a better view of what I'm doing. And now I'm just going to um, change this and drag this guy here. <coughs> I'll pick the end point of this path. And now just tell it to join them. So, uh, let's see here, that's 42, 43, so it's still going in the right direction. Let's just drag this out a little bit so it looks a little bit nicer. So, I notice here uh, I'm at an altitude of 11. That's good. And now it's going to change altitude. And if I zoom out, notice that it's going to end up about here. Now that I have the uh, path that I uh, desire, I will uh, can output uh, the data, the path, either to a CB CSV file for importing into Litchi, or I can uh, generate a KML path that we can input into Google Earth uh, to view in Google Earth. Before I do that, however, I'm going to uh, <clears throat> select uh, the start waypoint I will uh, edit the properties of that waypoint and tell it that I want to basically uh, start recording video at that uh, waypoint. 
And now I will, uh, let's see, let's go to that one. Uh, there are two waypoints on top of each other, so if I just go and um, edit the properties of that one, and then go to the next one, it takes me to the last waypoint, and I will tell it to end the video. At this point, I will uh, <clears throat> grab the entire path, right-click, and uh, output it. And I can output it as a both a CSV file for importing into uh, Litchi, or I can output a KML path for importing into Google Earth. So I'll do both at this point. I'll generate a CSV file, and now I'll do another output and tell it to generate the KML file. I'll uh, unselect everything. Uh, I can even, uh, in my file, I can save the XML. So it will, uh, by doing a save on the XML, uh, I can uh, start the, my program again, and I won't lose the path data. So I'll just save it, and that guarantees the next time I use the program, the path will uh, still exist. Uh, let's open up uh, <clears throat> Litchi, and here's my Litchi app. And uh, under the missions, I can import and import that mission and here's what the mission looks like in Litchi. So if I open up, uh, notice I'm going to start recording at the first waypoint and then after that uh, notice that the uh, gimbal pitch is interpolated and it's pointing downwards and it should uh, basically uh, point at the same number of degrees pointing down, looks like negative 13, until it starts to spiral and then it'll start pointing uh, further down as it spirals inward, or not necessarily, so on and so forth. All right, let's, uh, that's uh, showing the output in uh, Litchi. Uh, I will open up uh, Google Earth and uh, basically uh, open the uh, KML file that I just generated. And you can see in the KML file, I likewise can get a 3D uh, visualization of what the path looked like. Uh, this concludes the demo of uh, my waypoint path generator, uh, which hopefully uh, demonstrated how easy it is to create fairly complex uh, paths for your drone to follow. The uh, program uh, can also has additional capabilities of uh, creating manual paths where you just uh, uh, click where you want the drone to fly. Uh, it can also uh, generate uh, rectangular paths or uh, if you would have a uh, Google Earth polygon, uh, you could import a uh, Google Earth polygon and generate a path that would uh, cover the entire polygon uh, to allow you to take pictures that you could later stitch together into a uh, mosaic, uh, which I uh, hopefully will be covering in a different video. Uh, thank you for watching this, and I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.